no let this play. Mission to blow up Gamma One. Um, how do I do this? Thirty percent cycles. Oh, uh, that's gone with our energy here. I believe it's just because we have so many labs. So yeah, we are on a mission to, what is this offline? Go on. There's so many humans here again. I'm gonna have to start sending humans elsewhere. Three more missiles and 692 turns to destroy Gamma 1. I don't know why I'm saving the IFR, but I seem to be saving it. Um, I should probably just go ahead and use it. And we could send all of our missiles to Cronus, but I don't know. So let's look at let's look at Cronus. Attacking us. Oh, is it not a Cronus? Is that Zeus? That Zeus. So they've been sending us weird, spooky messages. Are they attacking Hera? Make sure these don't go up. Uh, but yeah, they have been sending us spooky messages. We cannot understand them. We need a hell of a lot of science. So is there anything that will help 
us understand them. Not as far as I can tell. Uh, so they've been sending us spooky messages, and they have ships that are flying around Zeus. But as far as I can tell, oh, well, I don't know where they are now. They're around Aries. Is Aries being attacked? I don't have any idea actually what this fleet is doing. I don't know what's going on there, yeah, but they seem to be hostile. The UI at least claims that they're attacking us, so... Very, very bizarre. And yet they aren't doing any damage, so they aren't... ...really attacking us, I don't think. Parmesan has too many humans. It's fine. Yes, the jellyfish aliens. I still have to figure out how to communicate with them before they kill me. All of our colonies are looking shockingly good, though. Why don't we have a fifth mine over here, though? I guess you're trying to make fishy sounds, but all I can think of when I read that is the glug glow gab glab. <laughs> oh no, I oh that's one of our missiles. Okay, they still have not done anything to us, the ambience. Every time I hear a missile sound, I'm just paranoid because I don't know if it's our missiles or theirs. humans coming to Billy Base. Okay, this was a mistake then. Where else do I need humans? Beluga? Does Beluga need humans? Beluga needs humans. You reroute. Go to the 
Oh my god. Corpus. Corpus does not need humans. Corpus looks good. Colon E. You need humans. I need humans here. Ships that be malicious. Go to Calypso. <sighs> Goopy glub glub. And it's like Mars needs moms, except Beluga needs humans. And I guess I can send this ship also to uh, Calypso. Send some humans to colon E. Transport. Alright, like maybe 80 of your finest humans. No, give me a hundred. Make a way to redeem walrus bladders for pixie sticks. Which theory this one is. Complete. That's probably the most important thing for us to research, though. all of my labs to biology until we have until we have enough. Let's see, uh, colonies. Biology. Oh 
what the heck? I'm going to have to like block the word famous or big follow. Man. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Big follow. Going at like super speed. No, we aren't. Change to biology. Biology. Okay. Doing biology there. Omega. Abby. Uh, Billy Base has no lab yet because we need more humans here and they're on their way. This will be entirely in the red for a while until the ring upgrades. Delicious. What is going on here? Oh, stop making vehicles, make robots. Make Roblox.
Hopefully we have room for 70 humans. Let's go. Uh, pause, 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 pause. We do. Okay. Phew. So we're not just sending humans to their death. Oh, these can be biology as well. Five more missiles. How are we doing for missiles? We have 21 missiles in stock. Let's see. Where are our transport to Beluga? We'll be there soon. That means that we already got our humans at Billy Base. enough humans. I need more humans in Billy Bears. Okay, we had extras at Ave Maria. Fetch me another 100 humans. Sending goons to like evict them from their homes and pack them up and forcing them to be shipped out to some back ass, backwards colony world. Because I'm such a nice dictator. <sighs> okay. I think that we're okay for now. Let's go to the space view and increase the. We. Captain, I believe we only need a few more missiles to destroy the spore ship. Our final sorties should be underway soon. I suggest we move any and all vehicles near the spore ship before the last missile sorties reach it. The resulting explosion will be quite devastating. We can't leave any space stations orbiting the spore ship either. If this works and the spore ship explodes, they would go with it. Well, how do I destroy that space station then? Tried. Is it because I have a little bit of resources? No, not smallpox. Yeah. Okay, I need to get all the materials off of there. Transport. Spot check, make sure there's green numbers everywhere. Uh, stuff's still upgrading here. I don't really expect green numbers here either. Um, wow, this power plant won't even get our energy into the green. I'll have to upgrade one of these as well. Just because vehicles use so much darn power and energy and all the resources. So when's that ship going to be here? 13 turns. Stop it. Invention complete. 
Bam. We have a ship here. Take all of that and go back to the Calypso with. Goodbye. Okay. 40 missiles. We have 22 on the Calypso, so we are churning them out faster than we're using them. Almost have enough biology as well. Just probably a few more turns, really. Tech 56. Fifty nine. Come on, one more biology. I'm just gonna sit on this screen until we get it. Fuser creates a self-generating process within quarks that changes their properties and allows and allows us to shrink the volumes of atoms. In effect, we make light metals very dense by reducing the spaces between atoms in an element. The fuser is small enough to use on spacecraft and will make their armor much more resistant to damage from lasers. enough biology. Let's just start that empty research. Biology and chemistry. Everywhere 
else is looking good. Billy Bass. Huge difference between the level one and two and the resource cost. I expected it to be more. to upgrade our power plants. I think that can wait though, we're doing pretty well. This, I have no idea what this could even possibly do, so. This sounds cool as well, like monofilament whips are one of my favorite weapons, but in the context of this game, what would this do for us, I don't know. It might just be an intermediate technology for something else. But I want both of these. switch to chemistry once we have enough biology and we'll worry about this stuff. Okay, so the ambience are still playing at least a little bit nice with us. There are fewer ships now. I don't have any idea what they're doing. They haven't destroyed anything. It's the most intriguing. 39, yeah, that's plenty. Math. 
citizens. Studying chemistry, that is fine. Beluga needs more robots before we do anything else. Corpus. Give me chemistry. That should be a good spread. Okay, let's wait a little bit. 22 more missiles. Oh man, we are so close. We are starting to run low on missiles. have over 500 turns to deal with it. And we still have the IFR as a uh, Hail Mary. Just a little bit more math. Talk to them.
let's go and get this thing. We're we're almost there. And then we'll uh, shift all of our focus to this. But I guess screw unified field theory. That's that's not very important. We need um. Professor X helmet. Actually, it looks a little bit more like Juggernaut's helmet, just a different color scheme. Let this um, just tick back up, and we'll start swapping stuff over to um, actually all those astronomies. I can move to biology right now. Biology. Kiwi, you are biology. I can't talk to them until uh, I think I need to invent this. I finally invented the thing that lets me invent this. So I just need more resources. So I'm reallocating all of my um, labs from astronomy to biology. Not all of them. I don't need more astronomy right now. And I need more of all that other stuff. Just bone speed four. We've almost a uh, plecky chell. Is that how that is supposed to be said? They're empty. If I'm going to call them something besides empiants, I'll call them empanados. Jellyfish alien. I didn't know that. Well, that makes so much more sense. Yeah, an empanada.
delicious, but it depends on what's in them. That's like asking what does uh, the taco taste like. It tastes like the stuff that's inside of it. It's hard to give like a catch-all, this is what it tastes like. Or like if you ask what does a sandwich taste like. I don't know, it depends on what's in it. It's really just a word that describes how you're wrapping up the contents. In the Dominican Republic, we had really delicious empanadas that our maid would bring us, like every, maybe not every day, but very often. And I was the only one who ate them, and I loved them. But also, empanadas make me think of. Um, those crappy Jamaican meat patty empanadas that you can get in the frozen section that you just microwave. Because I used to get those all the time when we went to play Pathfinder, Pathfinder Society, at our local game store. So it's just, yeah, some good memories. Okay, we stop physics. Switched everything to electronics from physics. Once we have either electronics or math, I'll switch those things to chemistry and then we'll switch everything to biology to wrap this up. I really needed to send more humans here, I believe. the most excess humans. New Terra has excess humans. Fetch me humans. Think about food as like a general concept doesn't do anything for me. If I think about something really delicious, I can imagine that yummy taste regardless of how full I am. Um, and so I can definitely think about a yummy food, if I, even if I'm very full. That's probably one of the reasons that I overeat. Consistently overeat. Plastic metal is a most unusual compound. It is actually a living creature which has infused itself with metal, creating a new kind of life form. It's an interesting discovery offering no current use. Well, that's fantastic. We have useless metal creatures now. Oh my goodness, they are increasing in number. still are not attacking us. I mean, that clearly says that they're attacking. That's interesting. Four more missiles. We will destroy Gamma-1 very soon. I hope so, at least. If it works. We are hitting its weak spot for massive damage. You should even... Why don't you want to go downstairs to eat? Are you scared of stairs? Are you stair phobic? Nope, we have enough math. I'm gonna be like it, let it take over just slightly more. Whoop. We need to improve the output of our factories. The situation is 
population of the colonies is critical, and we need to become as productive as we can possibly manage. I will assign some engineers to look into systems for improving our factories. We don't need to invent stuff to make our factories more powerful yet. One of our engineers, Motilal Shindra, has an idea for using the Mintronic brain to improve the efficiency of our factories. If the process works, we will be able to build much more productive factories. Uh, yeah, that's a long ways off. I don't care about that. We need to switch stuff from math into chemistry. That sounds like being picky. Chemistry. 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 We don't know biology, but that's fine. Electronics, that's fine. Did we blow it up? That one crisis averted. Captain, we destroyed Gamma One with our missile attack. Our plan to attack the weak spot worked perfectly. Now we don't have to worry about that thing's intention. I'm quite proud to serve with such an iron-willed leader. Great job, sir. I am an iron-willed leader. Well, you are welcome to message me in Hangouts or on Discord. Uh, if you want to talk or find me in person at some point later on. Why is this offline? That shouldn't be offline. We need robots. Well, that's no good. Talking is important. Chemistry. Chemistry. We should get all this chemistry very quickly. that a filament one molecule thick can be created and still have great tensile strength. There's currently no way to apply the theory directly. We hope to create a use for it in the future. Uh, so we have enough electronics and chemistry all in on biology. And we'll have to try and set things up more balanced so I'm not having to micromanage it like this. Those are already on biology. I mean, if it's keeping you from eating, that sounds pretty important, but it's up to you. Build up through these. 
another level once we get our humans here. Corpus. Corpus actually has a lot of humans. We could have sent them from here to the other place. drivers anymore. I mean, uh, I mean the anti-meteor guns. I'm not going to leave them running though for the time being. Whoa, look at how many there are. I guess, as soon as possible. 
60 more biology. And we have to wait however long it takes to invent it. Let's go to a bridge. Where's the military? I'm glad it didn't. That means we should probably save. Holy cow. I was very worried. That's right, I just don't know which planet I need to carpet bomb to get rid of these jellyfish, or at least to try and stop them. So I'm looking up. I couldn't hear you, Alex. actually going out on the map and looking for biology, I guess. If I wasn't so incredibly lazy. Your instrument 
ruins show that this place was once the North Magnetic Pole, but continental drift has moved it thousands of kilometers south. Oh, there's still science there, but too bad. They filled up with ore. That's the problem with exploring, I don't want ore. I love Jolly Ranchers. Love them. humans though or robots just that one ship as the pilot uh, ejected no the, the pilot was human and his head was blown up um, but they didn't kill any humans so I don't know how that works wait what a grape jolly rancher spawns by the killer did I, did I miss something? I feel like I missed something between those two chats. 
Sorry, there's a, a really high delay, I think, right now. That's what Alex said, at least. So I have no idea what you're saying spawns near the killer. set up labs sooner so I wouldn't have to sit around and do this. Oh, yeah. That's why there are things that spawn you further away. There we go. We can finally invent that. Yeah, but sometimes it's longer than other times. You can also change it in your Twitch settings to be shorter. Uh, I mean, you can't compare the exact delay, so it's up to whatever Twitch algorithm, but you can set it to like low latency or, or not low latency, um, and that'll be whether shorter or longer. And then I think that the delay after that is probably determined by just how busy Twitch is at the time. So if they have to process like a whole bunch of video feeds, then it's probably going to be a longer delay for just everyone across the board. But, but I don't know exactly how it works. But it is different some days and times. Astronomy. Chemistry. Electronics, geology, biology, mathematics, physics, astronomy, Wasteland with a single ship and a, a meager supply of energy and ore just sitting in a crate next to it. Is it? When did the audio leave? Hey Alex. Do I have audio on the stream? Yes, can you hear me? But you can hear me. If I say the word wallaby, do you hear the word wallaby? After the delay. minds want to know.
Did you hear me say the word wallaby on the stream? And I told you to listen to the stream to tell me. I don't care about the delay, Alex. So if I say wallaby on the stream, you can... Oh, okay. It's Ace. Jeez, Ace. <laughs> be a quick way to colonize somewhere. I think at the Titanic. So is there anything that we can actually start inventing? One more turn left to invent this. I am not a jellyfish. Elfin Hensor is a transmitter slash receiver for sending and receiving telepathic thought waves. Alpha waves are converted into radio waves by the transmitter and they can Our thoughts are hurting them. They can read our minds and our thoughts are hurting them. Commander Williams, you're such an idiot. Uh, so what do we do about this? this one planet in particular. 
I could actually sort of um, go to the bridge. No, I mean onto the Calypso. Let's send her. Um, I'm going to exile her to. Exiling her to Emulicious. I think here, but um, they do actually like have different advice they'll give and stuff like that. Uh, like the other scientist that's not Patel is Dr. Houseman, and I think he's a lot more um, aggressive than, than she is when it comes to the biota, for instance. Oh, I should have sent her to Colony. Maybe I'll send her there after she gets to malicious. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was going to go to Hades and just do some chill exploration. No magnetic field. Not at all. Oh. Lots of oh, lots of ore. What do these ore icons even look like? They've always looked very confusing to me. It doesn't look like ore. Collect several stones that are similar in composition to rubies and sapphires. Like what what is this? by an alien race. The more important things to worry about than batteries. Dr. Chan Cho realized he needed both the biosynth converter and the biosyn plastic metal for his biologically based battery. With those in hand, he can now continue his research. The battery will improve our power plants. Is there anything we can actually invent? This is going to take absolutely forever. Uh, so we're actually relatively close to being able to invent these stupid batteries, so maybe that will be the next thing that we invent. Now for now, I need this ship to 23 turns for the first pipeline. Corpus to be sending things to them. Not the Aegis.
mining and send uh send or two corpus from there. Fine. So I wanna keep this lab running. I need to keep at least some of the habitats running. Somewhere to send ore to uh, Porpoise. Am I running out of ore in other places? I don't know. Uh, certainly hope not. everything at Colony. Colony does need more people, but uh, let me see if anywhere else has completely ran out. You know, we need to set up shop in Megalodon. Megalodon, the first colony on this list that we have no one. Yeah, Megalodon. Pipeline to Megalodon. Out of 
everything so quickly here. Lots of robots. don't need more people here. <laughs> yes, that is what we should do if it does run out. Invading your solar system and hurting you with our thoughts. So, not super chill. Um, we need to build a baby habitat here. Start getting your humans shipped in. Is a little bit too far, let's see. 
Abbey is not too far away. No, I'm not firing myself. Saving up for the stupid engine. This. This has to be the next thing that we make. I totally forgot about it. We probably could have a little bit ago. or buildings or ships, but we had killed 14 of them when they attacked.
No, <laughs> no it should not. Can't move a whole colony to colony. E. The only colony I can move is the Calypso. And I can't move it to colony. E. same planet as Colony.
It already is the main planet. We don't have communication with Earth. Colon E is at Gaia, which is the main planet.
to start that battery. support.
nice. Yes, we have one. I need a mass driver.
next invention. Why do they hate Ares so much? Jeez. So we have lots of humans. Sitting at Babby. Let's actually send this all the way back to the Titanic. I don't know why we had it leave. Where's Cronus? These colonies are completely emptied out, I will destroy them. Habitats here is like a breeding colony.
Okay, we have one power plant up. Blocks destructive telepathic waves. We hope to use the spectrum of thought waves generated by the brain to form interference patterns over the destructive waves, thereby canceling them. Biology and math, tons of both. I think that's worth changing. running out of energy. Um, blah, 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 what? Are we mass driving anywhere? No, we aren't. Well, fine.
endorphins look like. Probably start a colony on the furnace soon. It's just orbiting Kronos. That's a lot of shit.
So is everyone near Cronus going to have to wear one of these? Look at this thing. Very weird. Upgrade, upgrade. 
upgrade, upgrade. I'm 
monkeys. We have placated the jellyfish. Yes. Uh, so let's immediately go cancel all of our missile patrols.
Excellent throw.
That's a cool looking habitat. Thank you. 
Anti-matter engine. Heck yeah.
Should activate Sally. some energy.
so let's see. We can fit quite a few more humans. dissolved minerals from the rocky surface leaving hemispherical bowls filled with water all around the area. You name this place Fermat in honor of the 17th century French mathematician, ma ma mathematician Pierre de Fermat. For Fermat? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce French names. Get out of here. Fermat. Oh, we almost filled our cargo with it. One trip. Uh, you know, I don't think I need this many labs on here. There's so many labs that we're building on um, planets, so... I just don't think it's necessary. Just, especially since we made the mistake of upgrading our labs there. Or, or robots. Just has life support now. Pipeline from Batty. Two trips. Have 
50 robots.
I didn't think that'd be my dad quite that fast. So Aegis now has nothing coming in. That's enough until it's done upgrading. Oh, we still have robots at Billy? Jeez.
what the eighth think yeah so let's do it cool and next time we will hopefully be able to finish the game um i think yeah we'll get all those labs up and running we'll work with the ambience we will develop a faster and light engine so that humanity can continue expanding beyond the stars. Um, I'm going to try maybe a VR game on Thursday. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not sure how 
performant the capture will be or how nauseating it will be to watch and or play. I have not tried this game yet, but I am excited. It's like a horror game, Wraith uh, the Oblivion. So that'll be fun. Uh, hopefully fun. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work out, I'll just play Minecraft or something. But, but I hope it works out. Later. Peace out. Thanks for